33% is magic, and actually that's not quite true. It's more like 50% physical, 30% magic, and then about 20% true. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Able to get all three camps. Markoon is invading here. Yike's already level three. He's Yike cleared his entire it. jungle, so now he's just going to cover a possible bot lane dive. We saw BDS look for these dives game one. Oh, last game. Didn't go too well. Level two just hit by Han Summer as he flat, flat, flaps his way away. Han Summer will fall for first blood, answering kill as Yike gets it. I mean, that's how it's done, for yep. the record. That's that was a want. nice dive from Rogue. Like, and yeah, Summer has TP, though, ready? That, true. <laughs> that's a flash in from Mickey. Yeah, Comp does have flashes, used the heal. There's the Shattering Strike for the stun. Follow-up continuing as Mickey falls lower. Mickey's just dying. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey? <laughs> He's like a bee, Betty. You get one sting and then you're done. <laughs> Han's a big surfer. He loves catching waves. So at least looking for the hook here. And lands it onto Mickey, who can't just fair He crash down away. Flash, last embrace, and Mickey no flash has Mickey. no flash to get away. Mark, who's going to flash? There's the stun. Oh, Mickey. Zero to we run everywhere. <laughs> we wouldn't fly everywhere, you know? That is a... Thought-provoking question, Medic. You should bring it up on a podcast sometime. <laughs> anyway. Injured. Mickey going in. Mark Coon looking for the flank. Dredge line away. There's the sun with the shadowing strike. Zoe Elise knocked up with the Feromancy, but gets the shield. And Mickey's gone in once again. Zoe Elise gets one. Answered by a kill from Mickey. To support, support for trading. support. Yeah. Returning back to those glory days. Let's see how things pan out here. As a dive Mickey is into Mickey flashing shadowing strike. Mom gets Ooh. caught as comp just falls. Tries to get the Dawning Shadow out, but it doesn't do much. Zoe Elise now has to flash as well, and the chase continues. Markoon and Larson coming in for a bit of a Barney. Death Charge down onto Mickey. We'll get the lock of Shockwave as well to follow. And Mickey once again does fall down. And the ring Could just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's another so dive bot lane. That it is. They're setting it up. Five, four man stack. Death Charge onto Mickey. TP behind as Rexlai's looking to join this fight, but already oh. Mickey oh. and Hansama are deleted. A double. Woken Blade going in with a flash knockup. Larson not tanking the tower as of yet. The charge forward by the Rek'Sai as Broken Blade falls low. He tries to bow, gets a knock of the shield. Not enough. Trigger Seed won't save him now. And Caps can't kill off Zoe Elise, but Daisy maybe can. Daisy killed off. The final breath looking for the... Right. Oh, yeah. They're, they're farming well. They're, they're mid. heading gold. They're unlocking mid. They have two drakes. So for Comp not to pick up the Rift Hill <laughs> would have just been like, why? You know? Obviously, it's Rogue against oh, G2. Oh, oh, Summer is hooked. Oh, and Summer tried to TP away. He did. Oh, tried to TP away. Just use your wings, man. That's what they're there for. <gasps> oh. <laughs> we need Kobe on the cast right now because that TP for sure sucks. Like, <laughs> oh, man. We need a pro view of that. What happened, Hans? What happened? Uh, towards that 80 mark, currently sitting at 74. Broken Blade did win out top. Uh, but it doesn't really oh. matter too much as another hook connects and Caps is pulled back. The depth charge knocks him up and Comp and knocks him down. Like pins in front of a bowling ball. Rogue I continues mean, to find these picks. So at least he's on fire. I mean, Rogue's right now it is Rogue still first to the yeah. objective. It's uh, Broken Blade acting as the front line given how tanky he is. Now they're trying to gate G2 from entering into this portion of the Here river. Broken Blade down to half. So at least with Ooh. a death charge to knock up the shockwave. Perfection from Rogue, but they don't get the kill on Hans Summer. He's still Ooh. full HP, and Rogue are hurting. Finn tries to get off the backline, but Hans Summer has hit 225, and Rogue are hitting six feet under. Already Comp and Finn have died. So at least trying to escape, but there's no tower to save him. TP away from Larson. He'll survive this fight. But will his team's chances of playoffs do the same? G2 find three for naught and they'll turn their eyes towards the Dragon. So the question is, all this early game proactiveness and pressure, was it enough to truly shut down the system? Here we are, the fight over the mid wave, Dragon spawning 30 seconds. Oh, man, you've got to use your wards. He's sitting on four right now. Rogue, they are setting up around the mid lane prior. They're going to get caught out as Zoe Elise is the first target. Death Charge, Shockwave once again, the Dawning Shadow. Mark who kills one. And some able to dash off to the back of the fight with another Dredge on to the land on the Broken Blade. He's hopping at the Void Rush, but he'll get popped afterwards. Rogue find two, the Wombo combo finds its mark. The Dragon up in seven seconds time. But Hans Summer still healthy, still has the Flash 340 stacks. Will it be enough? Now that was a very nice Wombo combo from Rogue. They're looking for another play. The release goes in, very tanky execution threshold. Starts to tick down on him. Han Summer, Blast Cones in, looking for Markun who has no flash. Finn is soloing the Dragon. The back line. As you say, who have we got in terms of flashes? Larson Shockwave up in about five seconds time. Comp has a flash, so at least only with a Hex and G2. Will give up the Drake, secured the soul for Rogue. 
and a small breath of life in this game. Yeah. For them. The control Look at the, the position of, of Finn here. It. Finn looking for that flank. I think he's, they have no idea. This could be a, an incredible flank. Finn just has to time it right. The Baron is very low. Nikki going in. There's Daisy to join the party. Broken Blade rooted up with the last embrace. Finn shows. Caps sees him. World Ender in. Markoon flashes forward. There's a shockwave as well as the kill off Yike. Caps chased off towards the top side as Mickey dives onto the back line. The Caps is down. And Rogan found it. The fight they wanted this whole split. They found it. Finally, they keep their life alive in playoffs. They shut G2 out of the fight. And they look towards the mid lane. Can they end? Another incredible team fight from Rogue. This time. Oh, Broken Blade's going to catch the he's wave. Gonna he's going to try and interrupt. He's going to delay this as much as he can. But they still have minions available to them. The TP catch from Larson. He's going to force him back. Going to have to tunnel away to safety. Rogue have the Nexus in their eyes. Another incredible fight. Rogue, it looks like they have done it. They have taken down G2 for the second time this year. And what a time to do it. Backs against the wall. The count at nine. They still have to get through G2. Broken Blade goes in with a Void Rush. Like here to help out with the damage sources are not available for G2. Rogue will keep themselves alive in the playoff race with a decisive win versus G2. Impressive stuff. Rogue, only a single fight they really lost around that bot Drake. I was concerned at that point that Han Sama would really unleash, but we saw as the game went on, it became really difficult for Han Sama to, to deal that damage. And when you get funneled into that Baron specifically, it's just easy pickings.